Hey, what's up guys? Steve from Gold of Mac here, and as much as I'm loving Mac OS Sierra, there's no doubt that it still has a handful of issues. The good news is though, that a lot of these can be fixed easily by users. So without further ado, here are three common problems experienced with Mac OS Sierra, and how to solve them. This one is pretty annoying. If you receive this message, don't panic. There are things you can do to sort it. For starters, try emptying your Mac's cache. To do this, open the finder window and select go to folder in the go menu. Next, type in tilde forward slash library forward slash caches and hit enter to go to that folder and empty it. If that doesn't work, you might also hold down command and option when you launch the app. Another option could be to do with security. Go to the security and privacy system preferences on your Mac and check the allow applications downloaded from anywhere setting. If this doesn't work, try resetting your computer's pram at startup. To do this, shut down your Mac and turn it back on. As soon as you hear the startup sound, hold down command, option, P and R. Hold these down until you hear the computer restart and the startup sound playing for another time. Hopefully one of these should solve the problem. We've all been there. You upgrade to the latest OS, which looked amazing on all of Apple's demos, only to find that our Macs are now running much more slowly than they were before. While that can be an indicator that an upgrade is in your future if you're running Mac OS Sierra on a Mac that's getting on in years, but there are other things you can do. The first is to reduce your RAM usage, or possibly upgrade it to make your machine run faster. To easily check on what is using memory on your Mac, launch Activity Monitor and check the memory tab is selected. You can then banish the widgets or memory hugging apps causing your machine to run slowly. A pram reset like the one mentioned earlier won't hurt either. On top of this, repairing disk permissions with the disk utility can have a big impact. From slow Macs to something just as irritating, slow Wi-Fi. There are a few things you can do here. First off, just power off your router and check if it requests any updates. You can also try turning off Bluetooth. Another possibility is deselecting proxies, which you do by going to System Preferences, Network, Advanced and Proxies tab, and then uncheck any box that is ticked under Select Protocol. Hit OK and then hit Apply. Hey presto, super fast Wi-Fi once more. We hope. If this doesn't work, I'd suggest deleting your existing Wi-Fi preferences. This means removing system configuration files, so make sure to back your Mac up first. Start by quitting any apps that are using Wi-Fi. Then turn it off using the Wi-Fi menu. Next, select Go in the Finder menu, then enter the path that's on screen and I'll make sure it's in the description down below so you can copy and paste. Once you've done this, select the following files. Then remove the files, either by putting them in a folder on your desktop or putting them in the trash. Next up, reboot your Mac using the restart button and when you're back up and running, turn back on the Wi-Fi. Hopefully this should immediately work as usual. So there's three common problems and solutions for Mac OS Sierra. Have you experienced any Mac OS Sierra issues so far? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll be back soon with more problems and solutions for Apple's latest desktop OS.